Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jen Scene, aka Jungle Naps, and today we're gonna be talking about my top five favorite setting powders that I use to keep my makeup in place, no creasing, and none of that stuff. <laughs> so if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please do so if you like what you see. Um, I try my best to put out content three times a week. And if you're an oldie but a goodie subby, hey girl, it's nice to see you again. Okay, so I'm going to discuss these setting powders in no particular order, just kind of um, I'm going to tell you guys why I like them, what are their best attributes, and of course, with anything, there's a drawback. So um, if these do have a drawback or I have experienced any, I'm definitely going to let you guys know. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first one is the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder, and this is in the color Translucent. It's a slight off-white color, and basically I love to use this when I'm um, like baking under where I've put my bronzer or setting my whole face. This is more of a like heavier setting powder, so I don't like to use this on my eyes because I feel like, you know, the drawback there is it just really makes it look cakey, but you know, like I said, under the contour areas or when I know I'm gonna be somewhere that's like a little hot, a little humid, and I wanna set with this, it does such a great, great job. Now, it's got really cool packaging, super practical. When you open it here, it's got, you know, your characteristic little holes in here and like a star pattern. And I love to just pour some in the little cap and dip my brush in here and then use that to just set my face. Moving on, the next one is from Maybelline. It's their Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. Okay, so why I love this one is it's super, super finely milled and it's really, really affordable. And I do like to use this under my eyes and I haven't used this to set the rest of my face because it's like super light and I don't necessarily want like a light white setting powder on the rest of my face but it does go really nicely under the eyes it doesn't leave any traces of like whiteness I will say one drawback to this setting powder is if you're going to be somewhere where there's like flash photography you don't want to use this because it will definitely give you some flashback but you know for a casual day you know out on the weekends with your girls or at work and you're not going to be taking pictures this is really 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 nice and it's uh you know really easy to find so the third one is one of my absolute favorites that i found in like the last month and this is the laura mercier it's their translucent medium deep setting powder now i did a more in-depth um, review on this one and I compared it to the Cover Effects Loose Setting Powder which I'm just gonna say I didn't like the Cover Effects one at all but you know check out the video if you want to see why. What I love about this one is it's perfect to go under the eyes if you're you know my complexion or you can use it to set your whole face and it's really finely milled and it just brings like a certain amount of glow to it. Um, personally, I like to, depending on the time of year, like sometimes I'll bake, but you know, only if I'm going to go someplace where I know I'm going to have makeup on for a long time. But I actually also like to use this, like dusting it right under the eyes. So you can work both ways. I haven't really found a drawback uh, with this powder. It just seems to work perfectly for my skin type. So yeah, I mean, if you guys are in the market for like you know a medium priced like medium tiered uh setting powder then this is going to be really great for you next up this is the dermablend loose setting powder um now this kind of like the maybelline one is like a pure white setting powder and i know you guys are probably gonna be like oh hell no i'm not gonna use like a freaking white setting powder on my dark skin or my, you know, olive skin or whatever you got. Listen, let me just tell you, after you've dusted any excess away, there is no color left. And what I love is it doesn't highlight dry patches. It doesn't like really bring out your fine 
lines on your face. Um, if you guys don't know, Dermablend is like a lot of professional makeup artists use this brand and they've got really quality products. Uh, this is the actual full size. There's about one ounce in here of powder. I also have the like mini one that I got in one of my subscription boxes. But this is so, so freaking good. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, you know, the packaging is really great. They give you this cute little like puff. If you want to use that, you know, it's up to you. And then the normal little like sifter with the holes in there. But I love this. I think that it's like definitely, you know, my top two favorite along with the Laura Mercier, the medium dark one. This and the other one are super, super, super bomb. Okay, and last on my list of setting powders, this is the smaller size of the Laura Mercier Translucent, the normal, the original one. And I mean, this has lasted me a long time. Like I don't even need to ever buy the big one. Uh, so this, the smaller one is 0.33 ounces. And if you guys aren't familiar with the original one, it's got like this off-white kind of beige color. And what I like to use this for is I love to use it like right under where I've contoured or like on a heavier day, you can use it, you know, around your whole face. Um, but there is like a, just a slight white cast when it you dust off the excess that I don't like, which is why I don't put it under my eyes. When I first got it, I did, and then I realized, okay, like, nah, -uh, this is not what you need to be doing. <laughs> but it is really good for, you know, highlighting those contoured areas. If you're, you know, going for a heavier makeup day and that's your thing, cool. But I really, really do like this one too. Okay, so that's it. Those are my five, super quick. I love having all of these and I would definitely repurchase all of them when I'm out. And I definitely think that there's something in here for everybody's you know, taste. Like if you're looking for the low budget one, you're gonna go for the Maybelline Master Fix. If you're in the middle tier, you've got a couple choices there. If you have dry skin and you're worried about it highlighting, you know, different dry patches, then I think I've given you guys, you know, a few options as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Video, come back again to my channel I'm gonna be uploading again pretty soon so you don't want to miss out be sure to turn on your notifications if you have not already and I love you guys I want to know what your favorite setting powder is down below in the comments and uh, I will see you in the next video bye